it's so amazing the different things that you can find to decoupage like these air fresheners. Christmas time, I did one like this using a Renews It air freshener. And now I thought, well, you know, it doesn't just have to be for Christmas. We can do some for now. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to do it using a Glade air freshener. Welcome to my channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Before we get started, I want to ask you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, share, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the little bell. Let's get started. These are the things you're going to need. We're going to start with an air freshener gel, Glade, Renews It, whatever one you like and whatever fragrance that you like. Pick out a napkin like I picked out this nautical one, a brush, a sponge pouncer, Mod Podge, white chalky paint, a scissor, and for the zingy blingy, Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. Take a look. So sparkly. Look how good that looks. To decoupage the air freshener solid, we need to remove the label, which is relatively easy. In fact, there is a little spot that you can just kind of pull it up. And if you want to take the whole thing off, which is what you're going to need to do, oh, there you go. Just squeeze a little bit and it pulls right off. Now we're ready to paint. Next, we want to paint our air freshener. I'm using chalk paint. I'm using chalky paint by Rust-Oleum. And I'm going to use a sponge pouncer just like this to apply. Chalk paint sticks really well to smooth surfaces, even plastic. And the thing about chalk paint is not only does it stick to plastic, but the napkins stick really well to the chalk paint. So you're just gonna load up your pouncer and just start pouncing away like this. And what you're gonna do is as you paint, you want to overlap so that you get nice, even coverage. See how well it covered up the expiration date? Chalk paint is really amazing. I love using it on things like plastic and glass. It does such a good job. So you're gonna go all the way around the entire air freshener until it's completely covered. Once the first coat is dry, you wanna go on now and add a second coat of the chalky paint. And you're pretty much going to do it the same way you did the first coat we're using our sponge pouncer, which by the way, they use them with stenciling, but they work really well for putting on chalk paint. And just go all the way around until you're finished and then let it dry. Okay, so our air freshener is nice and dry and we're ready to put the napkin onto the air freshener. There's just a little peek at what it's going to look like. Now, I'm not going to put the napkin on in one big piece. Instead, I'm going to use little pieces. First, I need to separate the napkin, which means in decoupage, we only use the top layer. So any layers that are underneath the top printed layer, I want to remove. So I have a little bit of Mod Podge between my fingers. I'm going to press up in the corner, and then you're going to see the top layer is going to lift off from the rest. And that's the one that we're going to use. Okay, so now we have this single layer. Now we're going to remove the images. And to remove the images, we have to trace around it with water. I'm using what's called a water brush. It has a brush on one end, and there's water in the tube, and the water feeds through into the brush. And I'm just going to trace along. I'm not doing anything real you know, fancy or real close. This is kind of rough because we're collaging it, so it's going to look really good. And this pulling apart with the water gives the edge a nice soft look. And it makes it very, very easy to pull apart. Here we go. Look how nice that edge is. It's gonna look really pretty once you go ahead and glue it onto the air freshener like that. It's really, really nice. Okay, so let's do a few more. Um, let's do the starfish. And we're gonna do it the same way. We're just going to put water all the way around it and again, roughly doing this because it's going to be a collage. And let's do the seashell. And then you can go ahead and go around the napkin and pull off as many little pieces that you want. And then you're ready to glue them on. Okay, so here's my pile of little images that I removed off of the napkin. Um, we're ready to glue them on. So I'm going to put them aside. And also, I took off little images like the starfish because I can use them to fill in. All right, I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and I'm gonna put it into a cup because I'm going to brush the Mod Podge on this time. 
And if I happen to have some extra, I have a lid, but I think I'm probably going to need more than that. All right, what I have here is a rice basket. And what I do is I put anything that's round that might roll away. I make like a little divot where it can sit and then it's easier for me to work on, okay? Uh, so let's move it around and find a good spot. That's a good spot. And let's start with a seahorse. So we're gonna take our brush. I like to use an angled brush. And don't forget to have a little piece of saran wrap nearby. Um, you'll see why we need to have it. Just have a little piece handy. All right, so put your glue onto where you're going to be putting the seahorse, just like that, spread it on. Make sure you have enough on. You wanna make sure there's glue that's going to be underneath the image. And then we're just gonna gently put it on with our fingers. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit more glue. I'm even gonna tuck glue a little underneath just to make sure that there's glue underneath the whole napkin. And just go over it like that. And now I'm going to take that piece of saran wrap and I'm just going to put it on top and kind of rub it down with my fingers just to make sure it's adhered really well. And of course, we don't want to have any of those wrinkles. So take a look at that. It's so pretty. Okay, we're going to wait for that to dry and then we're going to do another one. The seahorse is all dry, so now we're ready to put another image onto it. And I just want to point out that that little space there, that little crack, that's where it opens. So you kind of want to keep the glue away from that. All right, so I'm doing the starfish now and I picked a spot where it would fit. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the Mod Podge glue right on top. And I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to go over it. And I like to tuck glue. That's why I like the angled brush underneath, just to make sure there is glue under all of the napkin, just like that. I'm going to kind of smooth it with the brush. But of course, I'm going to use my piece of saran wrap. I'm going to put that on top and smooth it out just like that. And let's take a look. Very nice. Really, really pretty. I'm going to put another seahorse on because it fits really well. And I'm just going to put the glue on exactly the same way that I did the other one. And I'm also going to be using the saran wrap just to make sure it's nice and smooth. This is the last big napkin image that I have, and it's a seashell, and it fits in there very, very nicely. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting the Mod Podge glue onto the plastic and making sure it's underneath the whole napkin. Ta-da! So remember, I had taken off some of the little small starfish like that, and I kept them to fill in on all these little empty spaces, so I have a nice even collage. Okay, the container is all dry, and now I want to do some accent painting. I'm going to do it at the top and at the bottom. So I just pulled out some of the colors that I saw on the napkin. I used three different color blues, a lightish blue, a dark blue, and a chalky kind of blue, but I think that went really well with the napkin. I guess I wasn't as careful as I should have been, and some of the napkin and the glue did get, did get into this little crack. And we need to get that out of there because that is where the air freshener opens. So I'm very, very carefully taking a knife and I'm just putting it in there, trying to remove any of the napkin or the glue. And now I'm on to adding some paint accents. And we're going to start with the bottom. I'm going to do that little strip. This is the color that I chose. It's like a really soft matte I'm going to say almost a bluish green, but it is definitely one of the colors that you will see in the napkin. So it's going to complement it. And I'm going to do that whole strip, but you know, I'm thinking as long as I'm going to be doing the whole strip and I don't want to have too much white left on this, I decided I'm going to add some paint up into the top as well. It's just going to go in there and just slap it on. <laughs> now I'm painting the bottom part of the air freshener and I'm using this really nice, deep blue. It's definitely one of the colors that you'll see in the napkin. And the paints that I'm using are nothing special. They're just inexpensive acrylic paints that I picked up at Michael's. Look how pretty that is. I'm now adding some of the darker blue up on there where I had the lighter blue on top. And I'm going to go around, but I think what I'm going to do is that looks a little bit dark. I think I'm going to go back in and actually mix in a little bit of the light and blend it out more. Okay, the napkin is dry and the paint is dry. And now it's time to put on a couple of top coats of Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. It's going to shake that up a little bit. And Mod Podge Extreme Glitter is a formula that has the basic Mod Podge glue, but it also has lots of glitter added into it. So you can go around 
the entire air freshener and have it covered in glitter. Now, don't worry that you think you're spending a lot of time on this because you know what? That top part actually comes off. Look at it. So when it dries up, you could put it on a new one. As a final step, I'm going to tell you to put on a couple of coats of sealant, like this door clear, two coats, let it dry between each coat, and look at that, so, so sparkly. Okay, I have a couple more I want to show you. This is one I decoupage with a lavender napkin, and you know what? It actually has a lavender fragrance, so you can use the fragrance with how you decoupage it. And I did another one using this beautiful sunflower. It's very, very pretty. Look good in the fall. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you're going to give it a try. There's a quick little look at my Christmas one. This is a fun project you can share with your crafting friends. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Give us a thumbs up. I hope you'll give us a like. And remember, anytime you have any questions, you just want to say hi, just put it down there in comments. And remember, all of my napkins come from Vippy's Designs www.vippies.com and thank you so much for watching.